Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya and bitch, I'm so fucking happy you're here. Two things I need to address before we get into the video. Number one, like, comment, subscribe for more because your girl got like two vlogs that are like gonna be insane within like the next week or two. So get ready for that. Number two, um, this video is gonna be one out of the three videos that I'm re uploading in the next few weeks. Two, I private it, they're like my first few videos. One was almost an hour long and I felt like I could have made it a little bit shorter. I don't know why I didn't, but that's last year. And also one that was exposing my old job since my smoking playlist. It was blocked because I had music in it and I tried editing as much as I could out. But I, couldn't, I didn't edit enough out and YouTube was like, bitch, you're blocked. You're on the block list. So I'm going to either just cut out the music part and just refilm the end part or just try to upload the full thing but mute and just still put the like what I was listening to in my smoking playlist. But anyways, long tangent, let's get into this fucking story time. I also did my makeup already, but if you're new here, first of all, hi, hello, if you subscribe, follow me on social media. Number two, I do have a playlist of like get ready with me and I'm doing like literally like just, just this routine. Okay, but just boring. Which also is like, how the fuck did this happen to me? I am the most boring, shy, introverted, person ever i'm in bed by fucking 9 30 p.m and i watch friends like all the fucking time like what 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 so this video is about the time that a friend of like one of my favorite artists tried sleeping with me for like almost a year which is like it's funny now it's funny haha but that back then i was just like is this real this can't be happening to me this guy, but this cannot be happening to me and it came like right after a really tough time in my life so for this to happen like right after i was okay i was just like am i dreaming please wake the fuck up because there's no way that this is happening to me but anyways let's throw it back to a few years ago and i'm at work i'm chilling i'm on instagram i think i was like on my break or something but knowing me i was probably not on my break i'm so sorry my old boss actually no girl he was weird but <laughs> i'm on instagram one day and one of my favorite artists we're just gonna call we're gonna call him brit so brit is posting on instagram that they're having a party at one of the club in la and da 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 so i immediately like dm my friend who's also a big fan of brit and i'm like do you want to go do you want to go do you go like oh my gosh i buy his tickets da, da, da. and within like 30 minutes we have tickets to go to brit's party in la now I need to say this. So at this point, and I and even now, I don't really go out, especially to like clubs and stuff. So for me to like, I think this was like, this was like my first time at a club too, because I've been to a bar, but I never been to a club up until this point. I really do think this is my first time at a club. <gasps> maybe this is iconic. Maybe, maybe I don't know. But basically, we go to this club and. If you don't live in LA, let me just like tell you like how like LA clubs, you gotta dress to the fucking nines, bro. Like it is top tier, hair from motherfucking feet. You gotta be dressed down, okay? Especially if it's like an artist performing there, you better be dressed in your fucking best, right? What I was wearing, you may ask, I don't have a photo of it and for good reason because what the fuck i was wearing like doc martens with like these jeans from q which you don't know what q is q is like a mix of like forever 21 and h&m kind of trying to lead into fashion nova but they're not quite there yet but they cute or whatever i was wearing jeans from them and like a black shirt horrendous like oh my god i remember seeing this one girl walk across the street and I was like, she was dressed down. And I was like, did she spend the entire day getting ready? Because that bitch looks mad fucking good. Like, what, what, what? Girl, I don't belong here. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Why did I come here? Why did I come here? So I'm thinking that, like, why did I come? Like, why did I come here? You know, like, what's, like, I, I don't know. I don't think I should be here. I'm not a club person. I'm definitely not dressed for a club. I'm just dressed for, like, a casual day out. Like, I look like I should be going to Saddle Ranch instead of this fucking place. Like, that's how casual I was. So to basically like get over my anxiety and stuff, I had a wax pin back in the day. I had a wax pin. I don't want to talk about it. It was dark times. And 
my friend and I are just like, you know, chilling. We're waiting for the club to open, da da da. Cause like, like I said, we don't know how fucking clubs open. We didn't know that it's normal to be late to clubs rather than showing up like 45 minutes early because your favorite artist is performing. We didn't know that back then. We know better now. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. So we get into the club. I make a beeline for the fucking bar because I'm like, there's going to be an estimated 500 or 5,000 people here. I need to become social so I don't look like a fucking bitch. Because when I'm shy and like I'm in the line for something or I'm somewhere that I need to be social at, I'm calling a turtle bitch. I'm in my shell. Okay. I ain't talking to nobody. Like, if you saw my video about like the show about like that was the weekend and i was trying to check it's not intentional it's just anxiety <laughs> it's not intentional it's just anxiety like i love it here. i love it here it's just it's just it's an anxiety it's introvertedness but it's not part of that story so i make a beeline for the bar i'm like give me a shot give me a drink please like i need to talk i need to you know be social network i like all about networking and marketing and all that shit like you just never know but what i didn't expect because <laughs> like this is a club maya like come on now come on now. i didn't expect people to try to dance with or on me my friend was kind of just like she was moving around like she was like i don't know how to clean it but she was solo dancing but like not in a cringe way she kind of was just like doing it to like move around and, like like not stay tired basically because we didn't know when this artist was coming because the same day Brit had a prior engagement so we didn't know how long kiss that was going to be there and da, 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 da. so like it was going to be a minute before you got to the club because was he going to change make a stop home and get some in and out who fucking knows who fucking knows you feel me so I'm like trying to like get into it get into the mood da, da, da. like but I had people dancing I had this guy like trying to dance with me and on me and I was just like ah I didn't know what the fuck I was doing back then. Like, I think now I probably would hit a little one, two step. And then like, I don't know, but I was just so, I, you know, first time, baby's first time, you know, but it gets to like 12, 31 o'clock AM and I'm tired. <laughs> I'm an old woman. Okay. I was 21, but I was 61. Really? I look at my friend and I'm like, yo, if Brick doesn't get like, get her soon, like, I think I'm a go. But I didn't want to leave her. You're never supposed to leave your girlfriend. So no matter how tired you are, bitch, just get a Red Bull vodka and get the fuck up. Like, never allow to leave your friends. Never let your friends go with some random guy that you just met. Doesn't matter how much money or debt he has. You leave home with your friend and you go home with your friend. You feel me? You heard me. Yeah, I said that right. Thank you. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. Like, we pay, we pay to be here because nothing in LA is free nothing in LA was free like I don't remember how much the ticket was but that's neither, that's neither here nor there so then Brick comes out he gets on stage you know doing his thing doing his thing but with this I don't want to say bastard because I still like this artist I still fuck with him really heavy like they made like I had the best memories being at this person's shows but this bitch <laughs> this bitch decides to go from the stage to the tables there was like a lot of tables because you know it's it's a club there was a lot of tables but there was like this bin, big like couch thingy like like something that you like something to do like in family homes like this big like overstretched couch lounge thingy whatever and they were performing there so <laughs> somehow literally Brit is right here I'm right here like if I wanted to reach out and like touch him I could have not that I would have because that's weird and also like assault harassment like I'm good I'm okay so then when he gets to the tables I'm right in front of him and I'm looking at him recording him living my best life I feel a presence right here and I'm just like Who are you? And he's just like looking at me like he's vibing with Brit's music because you know it's a vibe. He's vibing with Brit's music, but right motherfucking here, he's just eyeing my shit down. And I'm like, bro, is the price tag on? Like, why are you staring at me? Like, what did I do? What did I do? Why this person was staring at me was because he thought I was cute. Cause he was like, You look good, Mike, you look good. 
And I was like, thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm just like, can you stop staring at me? Cause like it was, it was getting uncomfortable. Like I knew why this man was staring, not at the outfit because he like, what, what did I don't say? You look good, but you look better when you're naked. I think that's what this guy was thinking in his fucking head. Did he go straight for not awake? Cause probably fucking Lee, like he probably did. I'm just playing. <laughs> but I'm just like, who the fuck is this guy? Number one, number two, where the fuck did you come from? And see, can you see? Like, I know I'm pretty, I know I look good, but like these girls got on that fashion look fit. I think you might want them instead of me. You know, like I'm I'm good, I'm okay, sir. You know, I could help you look for other girls. Like, I think I have a good eye. Like, I don't know. I'm not gay. But, I mean, if a girl is pretty, a girl is pretty. Let's be fucking for real. So, he's just, like, looking at me and staring at me and saying all these sweet nothings in my ear. And my friend even looks and she's like, what the fuck is that? And I'm like, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know where he came from. I, he might be actually a ghost. I think I may be just too high. He wasn't a ghost. And I wasn't too high. I probably was, but I wasn't too high back then. So he's just talking, 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 and then somehow in some way, my friend and I are held, like, like holding each other's hands, and my left hand is holding Brit's, let's call him Q. I'm holding Q's hand because a few minutes before, he asked if he wanted to go out the back with Brit and his crew, and Q just so happened to be part of his crew. So we're all walking out the back door, and Britt gets in the car with um, his partner at the time, basically. And they're just chilling, talking, whatever. And they're waiting for Q. Now, what is Q doing? He's talking to me. He's trying to get me home. He's trying to be like, come home with me. Do you ride home? Da, da, da. Because my friend wasn't drinking. She wasn't doing anything because she was the DD. We love a mother. We love a mother. And <laughs> I was just like, no. Like, she's driving me home. Literally, it's on the way. Like, thank you, but we're okay. He's just like talking, talking my fucking hero. Like he's introducing himself. But <laughs> this man didn't know that he was talking to a stan of Brit. Not stan as in swarm, which by the way, just finished that show. Donald Glover, the messy man that you are, first of all. But I knew like Brit, basically. And Brit had basically done something in honor of like someone of his family. I remember thinking, girl, what? And like, why is this important? Why is it important, you ask? Because Q decided to lie to me and say that the project was dedicated to him. And I was like, ah, ha, ha. You, you don't say, you don't say, well, it's nice to meet you. I, I loved seeing a photo of you on the billboards it wasn't for q q was lying huh and then when i didn't go home with home with him because he's up no i'm just kidding <laughs> i just didn't go home with him this man decided to throw out that he is friends with big name producers and one of them is picking him up to drive him home it's 2 a.m sir Shouldn't they be asleep or in the studio? If you're friends with Britt, why don't you just go home with him and, the, and his partner or just call an Uber? Like, hmm. Anyways, so we exchanged numbers, we exchanged Instagrams, and that's basically how we just stayed in contact. Okay, little intermission. Basically, I get Q's Instagram and his phone number. I really don't want it, but I'm just like, do I just get it so I don't die? Like, anyways, over the course of a few weeks, this man just randomly decides to DM me on Instagram, text me. Um, if I can find the text and the DMs, I would definitely put them right here. Um, when I first posted this video a year ago, I posted a TikTok with the screenshots. Um, but I think it's better if I just put them here, you know, and just, we'll just forget about that TikTok, you know what I'm saying? So... He would just see me like hella random. Like I remember one time, this is this this altered my brain chemistry. I posted like a congratulations to Demi Lovato because they were nominated for a Grammy. 
um I think it was like for fall on or something I don't remember but they got nominated and I posted it on my story because you know I'm a Demi fan clearly he was like good morning da 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 and I was just like okay <laughs> okay he would just like ask like what I was doing he would just like send me weird stuff he would try to call me and I was just like I'm busy like I no but at this time I was working at the Grove if you don't know what the Grove is the Grove is just like a popular tourist spot in LA and just like if you want to be an influencer it just goes to the fucking Grove you know what I'm saying I was working there I did not tell him that I worked there because I didn't know this man hello and be safety and anxiety we like twin and up type so I didn't tell him that but one time I'm at work and he randomly facetimes me and where does he facetime me he facetimes me from the grove I said I'll oh, jump scare I'm going to the back peace I'll be in the stock room now what y'all need mm-hmm mm -hmm. okay I got you I got you I stayed in the back for as long as possible because I a didn't want to know where I work and b just like randomly like come up to my job and do x y and or z like duck good on floor two okay i'll be in the back if you need me like no i'd rather not and one time he posted like this girl in his story which i didn't think that like i was gonna date this man or whatever but i was just like you know like i was just like i don't think i'm your type babe so like why don't we just not waste each other's time you know like do well in life and I think you know I'll do the same so he posted this corona story and I was just like okay but like the next day or maybe even two days later like this man was quick he came he came very often in my life my dms I should say he was like I want to have a menage a trois with you and I was like Who who's the other person the, the the girl in your story and it was just like, oh, no, that's a friend, that's a friend. Which I was like, I find that hard to believe because, like, she looks like the type that you'd be attracted to. Me? Not me. Certainly not I. And he would just kind of bring things up. I was just like, I don't want to sleep with you. I don't want I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you. I only gave you my shit because I was high and I was scared. I didn't know where the fuck you came from. But, like, can you get out of this? He would just pop up every now and then. And I remember one time... He had a girlfriend, but then slid in the DMs like two days later. I was just like, this you on the beach with your partner? You're 20 of them. What are we doing here, sir? And <laughs> he like randomly invited me to this party in like one of the richest neighborhoods in LA. Like think of your favorite celebrity they probably have property there type and I was just like you're having a party with Brit in this neighborhood and you're randomly inviting me like 10 minutes before it starts a no thank you and b just no just no have fun turn up for me take a shot for me type Drake you know like I'm okay thank you though and he said something like Okay, I remember that. Remember what? That you invited me to a party? I could just go on my Instagram DMs and get the same message. What are you talking about? What do you... What? Can we... Can we use this space? This is a great muscle to use, my boy. So, a few months, I don't hear from him at all. It's radio silence. Radio silence. I'm pretty good. I'm chilling, killing, you know, doing my thing. One day... I'm walking home from work and mind you it was pretty late because I think I was working at Chipotle when this happened if not I was just working like just starting at my like first barista job but anyways I'm home walking and I don't have my phone in my hands because number one tip when it comes to safety as a woman don't like be on your phone like in your phone when you're walking home especially if you're walking home like late and it's dark and it's a quiet neighborhood and not too many city lights on if you feel me and you know, I'm walking home, trying to get to my bed, trying to smoke a blunt before I go to sleep. But then I feel and hear my phone ringing. But it's not my ringtone. 
it's not i see a little silhouette to love a man it's like some other loud ass beeping noise and i'm like what the fuck and who the fuck so then i like take a break from walking and i pull out my phone because i don't know who's calling me i don't know where like 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 where is this coming from like what's going on and it's none of my friends calling me it's not even through the calling app on my phone it's a notification from instagram saying you missed a call from q's username and i was just like did i miss something when were we talking again sir ariana what are you doing here i was just like okay let me just did he send a message yes he did send a message babe he sent you a pin pick he sent you a pick of his eggplant and not the actual vegetable his eggplant I remember being like, oh, jump scare. I was like, ah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Zero to 100 real quick on some Drake shit. What, how did we get here? Did I miss something? I know I'm not a big reader, but like, did I skip a chapter or two? What? So then I call one of my best friends just, to com just for company and just to tell him like what the fuck is going on. And my best friend is just having a field day with it. This is the best night of his fucking life. He thinks, he thinks I just told him the funniest joke that all your favorite comedians just stole. Like, I was like, it's not that funny. It's actually kind of terrifying because where is this coming from? And why does it look like that? I'm just like, yeah. I think we're done talking to this guy because after that, he basically tells me to get the baddest bitch so we can get nasty. This man has a kink from an Ajay Twaz. I just noticed that. Do your thing, 21. Do your thing. Like, for you? But not from his mama's right here. I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, you could share DNA with somebody else. Get somebody else to do it. And that... I don't remember what I did or what I said. If I had the DMs that I said, I'll probably put them right at her, but I doubt I do. But that was the last time that we heard from Mr. Q. Thank God. It's been a few years since that happened. It's a funny ass story. It's taught my friends. It's a little inside joke. It's a little kiki. But <laughs> it's kind of funny because I still listen to this artist and I'm just like, do you know about what your friend would be doing behind your back? If Even if he is his friend. Could have just been like a random homie. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I hope you're doing well wherever the fuck you are. Thank you for a funny time, man. Like, a little weird back then. But I'm just like, <laughs> silly little men. <laughs> you're so cute when you're 5'3". You know? Like, so funny. Best jokes. Best jokes. But anyways, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe for more. Um, please comment if this happened to you or something similar happened to you. Because this is like some shit that would happen in like LA, maybe Miami, definitely Atlanta, and probably Houston. Like, <sighs> good times, good times. But I hope you're having a good day or night wherever you are in this world. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you are as excited as I am for the upcoming vlogs, re-uploaded story times that are coming to this channel. Um, we're kind of having fun over here. So if you comment, you'll be invited to the pod's hey over here. Just some thumbnail things. But anyways, be safe, stay strong, YOLO, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!